My long arm quilting journey began in my mom's garage. She bought an HQ-16 and we set it up in the garage by watching a DVD video. And the quilt that I'm quilting in this picture is the first time I ever quilted feathers. And as you can see, my feathers have definitely progressed over the years, but it's great to look back and see where I started. This was that same quilt and I put some swirls and simple things on there. This is a slideshow of a collection of pictures that I found that my mom had taken from my first few years of quilting on the long arm. And some of you that have been following me for a while will see some of the differences in my quilting between back then and now. And I hope this video is an inspiration to you and will help you to not be so hard on yourself if you're struggling with a design. A lot of these pictures look very different from how I quilt now. And it is a progression and it takes time and practice and kind of forcing yourself out of the comfort zone. When I look back at these pictures, I can see areas where my backtracking wasn't so great and I could really get nitpicky and especially right there on those retraced curls. But I was just starting out and learning and it was okay and I had customers that knew I was starting out and they wanted their, quilt to, their quilts quilted and a lot of them said, hey, you practice and do what you want on this quilt. And my prices reflected that as well. And I'm just so thankful for friends and family and then more and more customers that were bringing me their quilts and asking me to do things that I maybe hadn't tried yet. And they were willing to let me practice uh, on their quilts. And you can see where my meander has changed a lot. I was pretty excited today when I found this pack of pictures because someone on Facebook had asked me about sharing some older pictures and I, I knew I had them somewhere, but thankfully I found them and it's been fun going back through and looking at the progress. I definitely have changed the way I do my meander. It's much more round and not so long and skinny. Um, especially those who have been taking my courses. A lot of these pictures may look like how you feel as you are starting out on your journey. This was one of the first times I had tried the peacock or clamshell design. And it was fun working on custom work when people would bring. I mean, it was very um, intimidating, but it was also exciting because I got to try new things. And that's what helped me become better. There were times where I did have to rip out sections that I just wasn't happy with. And I figured out what designs worked best for me, were easiest for me to do, that I could really feel comfortable with. And then moving on to custom work, it was definitely a challenge. And it was great to try new techniques and learning feathers was difficult. I tried drawing on paper for a long time and watching videos on YouTube slowly it began to come together and now feathers are one of my most favorite things to quilt and you can see in this feather wreath the center feather plumes are not wonderful and even some of the outside ones aren't wonderful either but 
again, it's all freehand, all free motion, and just looking back, it is fun to see um, how I've been able to progress and learn, and I really am thankful for those who said, you know, try something new or, or you know, try a new design if you'd like to on my quilt, I, and they were very generous to me. These are all still pictures from those first few years. And at the time I had four small kids and my mom would babysit them while I was out in the garage working. And that went on for over a year. And I started to get pretty busy. She offered for me to use the HQ16 and start a business and a percentage went to her for using the machine. And it was a great system. My kids loved being at grandma's house and uh, it, was, it was an exciting time uh, starting up a business like this and learning as I went. And it was just very enjoyable. We made a lot of charity quilts and did a lot of practicing on just a nine inch block made into like a 12 patch little baby quilt. So we would practice lots of designs. My mom and I would take turns on the machine too, just uh, practicing new things and working on just getting better each time. I love this design and those taking my Build Your Portfolio Part 1 course have been working on this flower and it has, I have been doing it for a long, long time. I think it just looks great as an all over design. One thing I noticed as I was going through these pictures are my leaves look a lot different now than they used to. I used to do more of a straight center in my leaf where now I do more of a curvy center and it just flows a lot better for me that way once I learned that method of making my leaves. Here's some of my first echoing and I'll be having a basic echoing course coming out in April of 2022. Well, we're, we will be learning an edge-to-edge -edge, uh, set of designs for echoing. In this picture, you can tell I chalk drew my curls and my leaves. And when I was starting out, to do a border like that with leaves, it was challenging to remember which direction to go, and so I would use chalk until I got into the rhythm. This is still one of my favorite all over designs to do as far as those curls. It can really dress up a quilt and Again, the leaves, you can add in the leaves or flowers and fill in the space as you feel it fits the quilt. Here's another one of my very early on feathers. I have a much better sense now of how to quilt those corners and not have it look so congested. And that's one of those things that you learn along the journey. It's great to watch YouTube and go on Facebook and find pictures for inspiration. And those things helped me so much just looking at pictures and find that person that their YouTube channel just really speaks to you and just 
continue learning as much as you can and practicing is the biggest thing. There's another early feather with individual plumes and no bounce back feathers, which is what I normally do now. Occasionally I'll do this type of feather. I do cringe a little bit when I see this one, when I see the feather in that reddish orange square, or I'm sorry, the flower in that reddish orange square. And even the feather, but you know what? It's all part of the process. And I'm thankful I didn't just get stuck with just meandering or just doing loops on quilts. I was able to push myself and work on custom work and it really made me into the quilter that I am today. And you can see in this one I was starting to get better. This is still within the two year time frame of the start. And now I'd like to share my current work and just a bit more slideshow that you can hopefully gain some more inspiration and if you're in the beginning stages, don't give up, keep on practicing, and you will see progress. And make sure and take pictures because you enjoy looking back on them later. <laughs>